guys, welcome back to another vlog. So in this vlog, I'll be doing a Q&A session with you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and now let's go straight to the video. Okay, so first question is from Erika Mabanta. So she asked me, what was the last compliment I've ever received? So the last compliment that I received was, I am pretty. So, okay, next is from Sienna Hilario. She asked, um, hi Nang. So hi Nang. Sorry, feeling close. You're so perfect. You are perfect in talent, and um, you're so smart, and you're so kind. Do you have any insecurities? Oh yes, I do have a lot of insecurities, if you must know. And one of them is the fear of being rejected, or the fear of, you know, failing. Well, guys, it's okay to fail, because um, as the saying goes, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, it's actually a song, but can also serve as a phrase so I'm actually trying my best to stop thinking about not failing because failure is very much normal and it helps you grow and develop as a person okay next okay next question is from Maria J. La Sofia so she asked what my plans are for college so um, there are a lot of questions actually regarding plans for college. So I'm just going to answer one. Um, well, because it, it kind of addresses every question. So, um, plans for college course I'm planning to take is civil engineering or biomedical engineering, depending on which university will um, accept me. And I'm just hoping that it would be for the best. Next is from Jerry Galilea. So she asked me what my skincare routine is. So, guys, my skincare routine is just soap and water. Wow, that's so simple. Yes, guys, you think I have a really complicated skincare routine? No, I don't. I only use soap and water, and I drink a lot of water. And um, you should also take in your vegetables and fruits. It also helps clear your skin, right? Next is from Francine Parian. She asked, how do you balance school and ballet? Alright, so I balance, I manage these two by prioritizing. Um, I know what my schedule is and I know what to do at the exact moment and I make the most out of my time. So that's how I manage things. Wow, easy. <laughs> so next is, next question is still from Erika Maban. Now she asked me if I would eat one bowl of cockroach um, even though the um, the reward would be one million pesos, my answer would be no. no. I wouldn't eat one bowl of cockroaches since you know health first, health over money. It's not the other way around. So if you must know, I care about my health. So I wouldn't eat cockroach. Thank you. All right. Next is from Chino So. So he asked for a shout out. So shout out to Chino So. Hi. Great. Next is from Therese Ambas. So she's asked me how do I stay motivated in doing my research? Well, okay. So um, this is how I become motivated because um, I believe that research is serves as something or as, a, as an avenue to um because okay research is about giving solutions or finding solutions to real life everyday problems and at the end of the day the results for your research is wouldn't be only for your benefit because you want to benefit the majority and you want to help the majority so that is that is the biggest motivation why I am, um, you know, I'm very motivated on doing research because I want to help society. Yeah, thank you. Great. Next question. Still from Therese Alvas. Wow. Okay, so she asked me how many years have been have I been doing or playing the violin. So, to those who don't know, I play the violin. I've been doing it for around 13 years now. 
well, I still practice, but not that often. But I still play. <laughs> so 13 years. Next, it's from Joey Viterbo. She asked me what my favorite Starbucks drink is. So I have a lot of. So if you must know, I'm a big Starbucks fan, and well, I don't drink a lot of coffee. I also drink tea in Starbucks. So, but 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 my favorite drink I think would be the caramel frappuccino. It's deadly, but it's good. Okay, next is. What is your favorite lip shade? Lipstick shade from Sunny's. All right, so my favorite lipstick shade is would be Vacay or Retro. It's really good, guys. You should try it. Right. Next question is still from her, Joey. What variation do you want to do in ballet? Ooh, I want to try the. Um, there's actually two variations that I want to try. It's the black swan variation and the white swan variation. Wow, very nice for swan lake. <laughs> right. Next question. Great. Next question is from Axe. Hi Axe. Um, he asked me yes or no. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. It's an affirmative yes. Right. Next is from Carmeli. Hi Carmeli. So she asked me when and why did I start ballet? Um, when? I started at the age of three. And why? Because my parents put me in ballet so that I have something, so that I can hone my skills, also the artistic side of me. So I can hone my skills in art and dance. So ballet is one of them. So next is from... I'm sorry, slow internet. Okay, next is from John Wayne. John Wayne. So he asked me what is my favorite TV series. So my favorite TV series is actually a K-drama. It's called Gotham. It's really nice. You should watch it. Highly recommend it. Okay. Next is from Jer. Hi Jer. He asked me, how do you respond to what's happening in the world right now? So um, I guess everybody watching this would know that we're experiencing a pandemic uh, because of the 2019 COVID, uh, the NCOV or the COVID-19. Um, so what is my response? I think I see this as a time for us to reflect, to go within ourselves and to ask ourselves what have, been, what have we been doing to help Mother Earth grow and to make it a better place for us to live in so it's it's a time for us to reflect and go with it yes, very nice. okay next is from candace dumalang hi so what is your favorite story in the 21st oh because we have a subject it's called 21st century literature so what is my favorite story since we discussed stories my favorite story would be Hmm. Favorite story. That's a hard one. I think it would be. The Christmas Carol. Why? Because. It's. It's very mysterious. It's really nice. You should read it. The Christmas Carol. Written by. Kim Myung Ha. It's Korean. But of course, there's an English translation, so you should what? You should read it. It's a nice short story. Right. Next question is from Gwenny Haro. Right. So she told she asked me what are my favorite things to do when I'm bored. So I do a lot of things when I'm bored. Um, I doodle. I do calligraphy. I talk to my friends online. I, but I think my favorite thing to do is doodle and do calligraphy and read poems. Yeah. Great. Right. Next question 
is from Iris Fuerza. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong, but hi Iris. So she asked me any celebrity crush. Yes, I do have a celebrity crush. I do have two celebrity top celebrity crushes. They're both Korean by the names of Gong Yu and Hyun Bin. <laughs> hi. Right. Next is from Oh, it's from Tita Android. Hi Tita. Alright. So she asked me quarantine advice for teenagers. Oh, okay. So as teenagers, uh, we're the future of this planet that we live in now. So I think my advice would be during this time of quarantine, what I said earlier, my response to what's happening in this world. It's a time for us to reflect and go in. So as teenagers, we have to reflect and also plan ahead. We have to analyze what's happening in our world and in our own little ways, what can we do to, you know, help solve the problems that we're facing right now. Okay, all right, that's, that's really good advice. And you also have to study well. We, we have to study well. For, in order for us to become successful and to make this world a better place to live in. Yeah, thank you. Alright. Next question. Right. Right, right, right. Right. Next question is from Ralph. Hi, Ralph. Right. Hi, Ralph. So he asked me suggesting songs for incoming reunion. I would suggest Make You Mine by Public. That's a really nice song. Um, Conversations in the Dark, that's also a nice song. Um, what else? I think that's all for now. But those two songs are my top favorite. Great. Next is from Lorraine Balas. Oh, hi, Nam. Alright. So she asked me for uh, skincare routine. So I, I answered that earlier. Uh, soap and water, and just drink a lot of water and eat your vegetables and fruits. Right. Next is from Lian Ganzon. Hi, Nam. So she asked me favorite ISEF memory. My favorite ISEF memory when. I think that would be the student mixer because that was lit. Absolutely lit. It was the best thing that could ever happen in that whole entire ISEF journey because that's where you meet a lot of people, a lot of students, and then you get to party and you get to have fun because it's after the defense. After a long day of defense, you get to party and have fun. So that's great, right? Great. Next question is from Kadeen Bonda. She's my cousin. Hi. So she asked me, who's your favorite cousin? I don't have a favorite cousin. I love each and every one of my cousins as dearly as I can, as equally as possible. So I love my cousins really much. And I'm not exaggerating. And I'm not being sarcastic, if you must know. Great. Next is from Ayla Genzo. Dimzon. Ayla Dimzon. Right. Right. Hi, Ayla. So she asked me, what keeps you sane during the season of quarantine? Well, I try to keep myself busy. I work out in the morning. I, I, I make a schedule, which sometimes I follow. Sometimes I don't. Uh, depending on the day but most of the time I follow my schedule so yeah I think that's what makes me sane because uh, I'm used to having a schedule so I made my own little schedule <laughs> right, right. <laughs> okay. next is from Ariel hi so she said oh she asked me why do birds suddenly appear why do birds suddenly appear? Oh, I don't know. It's part of the song. 
so please don't ask me. I'm not a song paper. Next is from Justin. Hi, Justin. Um, I miss you. So she asked me, do you have any plans to go back to City Horror? As of now, I don't, but I can make plans to go back to City Horror if I have time. See you there. Next is from... Errol. John Errol. Right, hang on. So he asked me, Hi Sha, what is your most memorable SSC moment? Uh, so, um, to those who don't know, I've been part of the SSC, so it means special science class. I still go to Iloilo National High School, but I'm not part of the special science class anymore since I moved up last year. And so, now I'm part of the senior high school community, right? So, what is my most memorable SSC moment? I think that would be Skills Olympiad. Since we have this, um activity that's it's an annual activity um and it's called skills olympiad so everyone is grouped into according to i think colors those are 10 groups and then different colors for each group and it's just been so fun for the past four years that's that's really something that I am looking I, I look forward to each year and now it's all a thing in the past but it still remains in my heart. Next is from Naps. Hi Nap! So he asked me not a question for I miss you. Oh I miss you too. He's my classmate by the way. Miss you Nap. I hope you're safe. Right. Next is from Saibo Ryan. So he asked me, I heard, I once heard you back during your discovery on the potential cure of diabetes last year. I'm curious if you are planning to find a cure for any other diseases aside from it. Anyways, take care. Looking forward to your blog. Okay, so I did a study last year, well, two years ago, and I also did the continuation last year. So there, um, basically, what I did two years ago was the determination of the anti-diabetic properties and antioxidant activities of the Jamaican cherry or what we call in the Philippines, aratiles. Or here in Iloilo, it's called cerisa. So that's what I did two years ago. And last year, I furthered the study by semi-isolating and semi-purifying the, the possible compounds that are found within the um, plant parts having the highest bioactivity. Right. So, as of now, I really want to look into the potential of the aratulus in terms of disease prevention and regulation. So, yes, I am planning to find not a cure, but um, it, it's rather a preventive measure right so next question is from Ryle so he asked me why is Ryle cute because he was born cute right next question is from sweet hi sweet so he asked me she asked me do I miss her yes I miss you of course I do right next is from Rhea Hi, Rhea! Will you still join the next DSTF? So DSTF, to those who don't know, is Division Science and Technology Fair. It's a research competition. Um, I'll see, we'll see if I join the next DSTF. It's a surprise! <laughs> well, I'm not sure. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I am not really sure if I'm joining. Okay, so the last question is from Nika Ila. So she asked me what is my greatest lesson I've learned when I was in SPED. So I think the greatest lesson I've learned when I was in SPED, SPED is a school um, that I was attending to when I was in elementary, grades two to six. Right, so um, 
what is the greatest lesson I've learned? I think that would be um, that you shouldn't trust, you shouldn't depend on anyone but yourself. You should be independent because uh, you're not really sure what the world will throw at you. So you have to be strong, be grounded, be independent, and just believe in you and yourself and God. I hope you like this video. Give this a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next vlog.